This is a 2023 Honda CRV IndyCar powered hybrid, an 800 horsepower, one of a kind rolling laboratory for Honda to learn how racing hybrids work. It also happens to be a mega two seater Frankenstein machine that is part two frame sprint car, part GT3 sports car, and part IndyCar. And I'm about to take a ride in it. But first, I get to learn just what makes this beastly thing tick by talking with Honda Performance Development's Vice President, Kelvin Fu. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, I'm once again very lucky to get a chance to speak with the VP of HPD, Honda Performance Development, Kelvin Fu. And Kelvin, we're gonna talk about a race car again, but a slightly different race car. What, what is this? What am I looking at behind you? So this is the CRV Hybrid Racer. We have a nickname calling it the Beast in the company, so that's kind of caught on. Um, but it is a two-frame design. It's got an IndyCar engine with a, with a home-built hybrid system in the back. And then we kind of Frankenstein it out of our race car inventory, and we have an NSX GT3 uh, suspension in the front. Right, so I reviewed a two-liter CRV hybrid recently, and the engine was right here. Right. And there's no engine right here, and this framing right here is quite robust for um, strut tower bracings. But I actually don't see struts. I see uh, double control arms down there and a whole lot of metal. So what, what suspension are we looking at? So you're looking at the front of the NSX GT3 race car. Okay, so it's wow. got the uh, front suspension and also the electronic power steering rack down here. So when we put this whole project together, uh, there's, this is really for two things. It's a, it was a marketing exercise. We yep. want to do a really cool one-off to support the launch of the new CRV hybrid. And we said, hey, nothing better than performance with a hybrid is to put an IndyCar engine in it. Um, but also, this is going to become our rolling lab, right? Because we have to learn as the auto industry changes uh, and racing is going to change with it with new technologies, we have to build something where we have to understand how do we integrate electrification and whatever else is coming down the pipe um, we have to be ahead of the game. And this is slowly going to be morphing over the years into something more and more advanced. Now, that's really interesting you say that because this is, if I'm correct, this is a current spec Honda Indy engine. Yes. Indy car engine in the yes. back of this. Can, can we see yeah. it? It's our little 2.2 liter uh, twin turbocharged V6. And there it is right yep. there. And that, so that is, if you pull this out of this car, you could put it into one of your Honda team Indy cars yeah. and be competitive. This is the exact same engine, you know, type of engine that, that got pulled at Indy a couple weeks ago. And it's gonna be what's gonna be racing uh, tomorrow in Detroit. Okay, and but here's where things get different because in 2024, IndyCar is going hybrid. Right. But not this hybrid here. This is your own one-off system, is that right? Yeah, but it's, it's, clo it's close in concept. The company that's supplying the capacitors is Skeleton, right, for IndyCar. So we're kind of learning how to use that with the current IndyCar engine, which is the same as next year. And then, you know, we've got a motor in the back, and then the system. An electric motor. Electric motor in the yeah. back. You know, that's, and that's, that's what's hanging right here that's off that, the tail, yeah? Exactly. Okay. But it helps us put this together. So we don't have to do the crazy packaging that we'd have to do for IndyCar. We're doing that right now. And the IndyCar system is gonna fit in the bell housing. So it's all gonna get collapsed into that bell housing. Yeah. And that motor is gonna be in there and all these super caps are gonna be, in, gonna be in there in this custom system. Yeah. But what we can do here is like, these are semi off the shelf. They're still prototype, but these companies are, are selling them. So we can put this all together and then write our software for it, learn how it all works with the engine and do a lot of testing and get uh, ahead of the game. So this is basically a rolling dyno of sorts it's, to kind of test out concepts right. of your hybrid IndyCar program. Yeah, it's a rolling lab, right? Because we have to, you know, learn how to integrate all these new electronics and all these new uh, gadgets and software onto the engine itself. And instead of trying to do a super hard job first of, of packaging everything together, let's kind of break up the risk and do it in, a, in smaller sub-assemblies. So why a CRV? Because if I, as I've, I understand correct, the the top half of this, the top hat of the body in white is Honda CRV yes. body in white. It's all production CRV. And that's and that's here as well. Yep. Then yeah, but you're on a steel tube frame, and you have obviously not a stock 
Honda CRV interior. Yeah. So what what made you go with the Honda CRV? Why the CRV? So the other thing about racing is like we have to work. I mean, we support marketing, right? We have to, you know, we race to, to show the Honda brand, um, but we also need to be valuable and help people recognize Honda as a performance uh, brand. So. We have meetings to our marketing group, and one of the things we came up with is how can we kind of combine two things? Create this, you know, rolling laboratory with new technology, but also do it in such a way that, you know, we can also support like what's coming out, what's the newest product line. And then, you know, when they said, you know, CRV hybrids coming out, we thought that's absolutely perfect. Right? Okay. We can actually combine it all. The cool thing is we got all parts of Honda to support this. this the, all the design and the livery and all this was done by the design guys at Torrance. We said, make it as cool as you want. Take the CRV, make it the CRV you've always wanted. And then we designed and had the frame made, but then we went to the the guys at uh, Hart. Uh, this is the steel tube frame you're talking about exactly. here. Exactly. Yeah, we had the we had the frame uh, designed and made, but then we went to the uh, the Hart race team that's based in Ohio at Honda ADC now, right? Auto and that's H A R T Hart. H A R T, um, and they very thankfully just agreed to build it for us. Wow. So they built this, this is all weekends and nights and long hours to kind of put this whole thing together. We started it, I think it was 11 months from when we started the project till we actually rolled out the same piece. Wow. So, wow. you know, it was, a, it was a really crash program. Very much a skunk works kind of a thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, it's one of those kind of unique kind of things you can do. So let's dig into the details just a little bit. Sure. So skeleton hybrid, Obviously, the IndyCar system will not be this physically large. Right. I have a hard time believing that would fit in an IndyCar. Right. But you are. I mean, this is a Delara rear suspension back here. Yeah. And this, there is a lot of legit carbon that looks like structure down here. Am I correct about well, that? Well, the, the, the diffuser, I think, and maybe out of... Well, a, that's definitely diffuser in the back, for right, sure. Right, diffuser in the back. But all this carbon is also just part of the flat, carbon flap. Got it, got it, got it. Not structure, necessarily. Yeah, not structure. Um, what is in each of these cap uh, boxes is like cylindrical cells. And then what we've done is we've taken those cylindrical cells, taken out of a kind of standard box, and we've designed a way of actually integrating them and holding them properly inside the bell housing. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Right. Okay. And I, I know that horsepower is a closely kept guarded secret, but what is the horsepower? Kidding. Yeah. What, um, <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a current spec Honda engine, right. but can you talk about the amount of horsepower from the electric motor? Because that will be standardized in IndyCar. I think it will be. We we don't, we haven't kind of come up with the final number. It'll, okay. It'll be determined by kind of test use and how far you know. It'll start at a certain power output and then slowly degrade over time. We want to keep it all even for everybody. But I think the quota number is this whole combined system right now is about 800 horsepower. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. And that's all inclusive. That's of all inclusive. Okay. Hybrid. And so the hybrid horsepower isn't isn't a significant portion of total horsepower, but it is there. It's a good chunk. Yeah. yeah. And and this is really just a push to pass uh, right. kind of application because the capacitors are great about tons of power in, tons of power out quickly, kind of the opposite of a battery. Yeah. But you know they don't hold a ton of energy. So this is like you can brake, boost it, and then as you're going down a straight, you can hit it and get get a punch of power coming out of it let's talk about what's inside here a little sure. bit because we're i'm that that looks very serious as a steering wheel here and this equipment here but if it is a rolling lab how do you do you have like can bus equipment how do you mm -hmm. connect to this thing uh it's all can bus we have telemetry built in it's since it's based on the uh indy car powertrain right this pretty much got an indy car steering wheel this thing doesn't work without the electronics and in, in sure. steering wheel so. sure um, right now, it relies on the on the IndyCar telemetry to get the the readings out of it. Um, we have the standard, you know, wheel see wheel speed sensors and all of that. But I think over time, as we move to different technologies, like one day that IndyCar engine may disappear and something may pop in there. Whatever we're going to work on next, so we'll create our own telemetry and our own data acquisition systems, and we do that all the time. So we've got what is effectively a performance street tire here. Mm -hmm. So you definitely have a lot less grip than an Indy car. Yes. I imagine this is ultimately a fair amount heavier than an Indy car, right. but lighter than a CRV. Mm, I think so. I'm not really sure what the final uh, weight's going to be. I mean, the, the thing is, like, the Indy car clutch is not the biggest thing in the world. Yeah. So you'd yeah. rather have the tires break loose than the truck. <laughs> yeah. Go sure. At that sure. Point. And it's really not. It, it's a it's a loud car. It's you know it accelerates fast in a straight line. But right now we haven't developed it for performance on a course. Right. Right, right now it's more of a 
one-off demo, make sure we know how to integrate properly and make sure we can run the car properly. So this is a rolling test lab. You've had, you've had it since March. Yes. Has it been successful? Oh, very much. I mean, part of the whole thing is just integration, making it run for the first time and then looking at data over time. That, that's been super successful from a, from a technology learning point of view. And also because, you know, it's, it's a wicked looking car. Yes, and it it's does. Been, it's been everywhere on social media. Um, and the fact that we're actually here at a marketing, a PR event for Honda, using this as something to, you know, make it interesting for, for you know, journalists such as, such as you. And then we had, we had Max Verstappen drive it too. So yep. from a marketing point of view, it's been probably more successful than our, than well, our, than our dreams. Kelvin, I really, really appreciate your insights and learning a little bit more detail about this. I did notice that there are two seats in this, a driver's and a passenger. Yeah. I brought my helmet. You should definitely go for a ride. Can I, can I get a ride? Definitely. Oh my God. Grab it and we'll, we'll jump in. I'm looking forward to it. Kelvin, thank you so much. Thanks a lot. So this, this is the top half is CRV white body. Uh, yeah, basically, I, it's easier to see when it's open, but anything painted in this gray color, yeah, it's all production sheet metal. Production sunroof, too. Production sunroof, hey, hey. Yeah, I wouldn't want to miss out on the nice view. Nice day. <laughs> you gotta let, let in the natural light. Very That's important. Right. All right, here we go. So we're moving, but this is the hybrid powertrain part moving. It's really electric right now. I think the performance street tire yeah okay you could tell you could tell that you're working with a lot more <laughs> a lot more motor than tire yeah than usual James okay, thank you so much great ride thank you yeah absolutely don't forget your camera oh trust me <laughs> <laughs>